Alright, so, um, I know I look like crap, I'm sorry. I just started doing this on like a spur of the moment kind of thing. Um, I'm gonna do a tutorial on how to make your own, like, daughter tools for nail art. Uh, I know the ones at the store are pretty expensive, and I know I've seen another tutorial, uh, on how to do it with, like, wire or something, I'm not completely sure. Um, but I was sitting here thinking how I could do this, and, you know, at first I thought, uh, like sewing pins with the little balls on the end, but then I realized they're plastic and when you go to clean them, plastic doesn't hold up real well to acetone. Then I thought of um, earrings, like the little metal balls, sorry if I can grab one, the little metal balls, you know? Uh, I figured they'd work really well and I started trying it and I've already got a couple done and it does turn out really well. So. What you'll need is some super glue. I have my trusty little bottle. It's already open because uh, I've already started. And then I realized, hey, I should make a tutorial. Anyway, um, I have my awesome bottle of super glue. Uh, wooden skewers. Uh, just, you know, ones that you use for the barbecue. Um, then wire cutters or, you know, anything that'll cut this pretty cleanly because you don't want anything that's going to stab you. Uh, a pair of pliers or tweezers or something to hold the ball. And of course the little metal earrings. Alright, uh, let's get started. Like I said, I've already done a couple, so hopefully this will go smoothly. Alright, so you're going to start with your skewer. You're going to want to take these, be careful because I've already cut myself, but you're going to take and like drill a little bit into it, I guess. Ouch! Yeah, and you want to avoid that. Um, ow. Alright, uh, if you split it like I just did, just cut it off right into the split. Things will fly everywhere, so be ready to clean up when you're done. Um, but you're just gonna take and drill into the bottom. Don't push too hard. Ow! And don't jam it under your fingernail, because we're trying to make something to make fingernails look nice. And I'm probably going to cut all of this out because I don't think you want to see me hurt myself over and over again and ramble about stupid crap. Come on, work this time, please. Right. And you want to try to get it in the middle, but if it's a little off, it doesn't really matter much. Alright, ow, 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 my thumb's cramping. Woo! Ow! Ah! Okay. That's good. Um... Then, you're going to take your ball, I'm going to do my medium sized one next. You're going to take your little ball and cut it off pretty close to the edge, but you want to leave like a little tiny bit left. And it flies. Alright, then you're going to set that down, make sure your super glue is open because this part goes fast. I've already got a bunch of super glue on my fingers and it feels gross. But in all honesty, it's not really any worse than nail glue, and I've had that on my fingers quite a bit. Alright, so then you're going to take your little ball and put it in your pliers. The little ones are harder to do. Uh, you're going to put it in your pliers so that the little, I don't know if you can see it very well, this camera sucks, but so that the little pokey part's pointing up right there. And, you know, whoa, ah, oh, crap. Have it in whichever hand's comfortable for you. Um, it might take a try or two to get it right. Uh, you want to squeeze it pretty tight so that you know you have a good grip on it. And then you're gonna take your super glue and drip it on the ball. Maybe. You don't want to get too much, but you want to get a good healthy amount. And you're gonna take your skewer. Oh god, I just about poked myself in the eye. You're gonna take your skewer and put it on top and hold it there for a couple seconds. Try to keep it straight, which I'm not doing. Try to keep it straight and not glue your finger to it, which I've already done. Uh, and you're gonna turn it... Oh crap, that came undone. But you're gonna make sure it's... It's a little off-centered but it's not too bad, so it doesn't really matter. But once you've got it on there like that, you're going to take your super glue and just put little drops. Oh, I should probably move this so you can actually see it. You're going to take the super glue 
and put little drops all the way around it so that it really seals it on there. Try not to get it on the top again, but I'm blind, so I'm probably going to. And you just want to turn it in circles so that the super glue doesn't drip all over the place and gets it, you know, so that it's on there like you want it. And just turn it until it's, you know, dry enough that it's not going to drip all over the place. I guess I can get this out of your face now, huh? And just sit here and turn it. Where that other ball went underneath that. Okay, then you want to figure out how you know how you're want, how you're gonna want to hold it and everything, and uh, figure out the size you want. I've already got mine right here, uh, so I'm gonna measure mine against this. But you know you're gonna have to figure it out yourself the first time at least. Um, and then I'm just gonna take it and cut it. I hope that, oh god, that was like a spear attacking my saline, my saline solution. Okay, um, but then you have your little daughter tool, and when it dries, you can just use the little ball to dot your fingernails.